I can't believe I will be married to you in just a few hours. Is this real life? I remember when I first met you, I was proven wrong. I was proven wrong because before I knew you existed, I thought there was no way someone could look this good and be so kind, God-loving, talented, and down-to-earth. Someone so beautiful, yet with so much character and integrity. You were unlike any girl I had ever met or heard of. I truly believe that God planned you in my life at the right time and it was a way I did not see coming. However, he definitely didn't make it so easy for me. <laughs> you were not easy to win over, and I still can't believe I got that lucky. I get to love you It's a promise I'm making to you Whatever Mark, God bless you, your life together forever. Rachel and Mark, every day remember two, three things. Thank God for everything, pray, and read the Bible every night. As a family pray together, stay together. We will going to miss you, Rachel, especially every night you coming to Say good night for me and Mervat and give kiss for everyone. Even if one o'clock p.m. anytime coming, you come to say good night. Then I, I I hope you can continue. Even you call every day and give me kiss or Mervat too. God bless you and you have a good boy, good boy. <laughs> you know, not good boy. Uh, I hope God can help you in your life and enjoy. Whatever may come, your heart I will choose. Forever I'm yours, forever I do. I get to love. lot together. You have accepted me for my strengths and weaknesses. You've taught me that love is letting the other person know you are never leaving their side because of it. I want you to know this before you commit your life to me. I will always be there for you and will always put you first. I will take care of you, protect you, and love you with my last breath. You truly deserve the best, baby, and I will constantly work on being the man you need. I love you so much, and I truly consider myself to have come across a gold a, cold, a gold mine with having you by my side now hurry up and put this letter down so i can see you walk down the aisle and call you my wife i'm waiting love mark adley mm, it's so cute dangerous plan just this time strangers I'd like to take a minute to boast about my awesome sister Rachel and her marriage to the newest addition of our family, our new brother, Mark. If you know me, then you know I'm fiercely protective of my, of my sisters. I only want the best for the best. When God sent Samuel to find a new king of Israel, David, not you, David, he said, I don't look at the outside of a person, I look at the inside. I look at the heart. Anyway, I always took that to heart when trying to decide if a man could be a good fit for any of my sisters. Will he keep Christ at the center of the relationship? I think he will. I think so. I believe in the power of prayer and so I think these two are truly a match made in heaven. So through your ups and downs, Remember that God gives each exactly what they needed. 
And because Marsh has a heart like Rachel's, full of love, they will overcome anything and grow stronger and happier together. Please raise your glasses. And now these three remain. Faith in God. Hope in what is to come. And love. But the greatest of these is love. God bless Mark and Rachel. Even though we may be hopeless, cars just passing through. Every boss creates. I don't know what we should do. All I know is that I was made for loving you. When I was thinking of what to say tonight, I asked some of my friends what they thought of Mark getting married. And here are some of their quotes. One person said, I can't believe Mark is off the market. This is a loss for all women. Another said, Rachel is the luckiest girl in the world. To which I replied, Mark, stop telling me what to say in my speech. Uh, Rachel, Mark will be the perfect partner in crime for you, and I mean that literally. One time, him and a couple of friends took me across the border to the gun range for my birthday, and he wanted, to uh, he wanted me to have a keepsake, so when we got back to Canada, he gave me a rifle bullet that he smuggled across the border. It was only after that that we found out this was considered trafficking in firearms. Luckily, the statute of limitation has passed, so we can all laugh about that now. Jokes aside, Rachel, you are a lucky girl. Mark is a determined person. Whenever he sets his mind to something, he gets it done. Whether it be jogging in the rain, to the gym, when he didn't have a car, just not to miss a workout, or leaving work on a Saturday during his break to give his Sunday school lesson. Isn't that cute? The truth is, and all his gruesome and know this, is that Mark always goes out of his way for his friends. He plans fun surprises, he checks in when it's been a while, and if you need him, he'll always make time no matter how busy he is. Mark is an honest, trustworthy man who most importantly fears God. And I could not be happier that he found his perfect match in you, Rachel. I pray that God blesses every step you take together Please raise your glasses. Here is to Mark and Rachel. We love you guys. Congratulations. And she holds me late at night. They both give grace and it's amazing. They both have healing in their hands. And it ain't easy, but they're both making me a better man. And I hear a song, sweet song, singing to my soul. And it's leading me back home And when I think about the only things in life that pull me through I hit my knees and thank the Lord for Jesus and you Every day I do Yeah, yeah, yeah Every day I do, yeah Why you got a ring? Uh, Mark, uh, I'm really uh, very proud uh, tonight, very proud of you, uh, the way you became uh, as a person. Uh, Mark was always independent, uh, like uh, I really don't remember for a single point or, or night that uh, we studied for him or we helped him in any uh, subject from grade one until he graduated, never, never happened. Mark is very independent, uh, he's a fighter, and I'm so proud of you and your achievement uh, so far. And I'm most proud uh, for you uh, bringing Rachel uh, to our family. Rachel is very, really cute and lovely girl. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Mark, for bringing Rachel to our family. Uh, tonight, uh, our family will uh, ex expanding. 
Uh, I'm sure Manel is very happy tonight that for uh, 22 years, which is David, David H, uh, she was dealing with three troublemaker in the house. And uh, I'm sure now she's very happy that you are two girls versus three uh, boys now. So I'm uh, very happy for this. You will spend lots of time together, I'm hoping, and uh, together. So uh, I'm very happy for uh, this night. And um, we are looking forward. We are welcoming you in our family. Uh, you, we have a daughter now, and uh, we are really happy by having you and your family. And now the Adley's family is growing uh, with God's blessing. I don't know to how much, but uh, the Adley's family is growing, and uh, we are looking forward to this. Once to keep them in your mind all the time, that to be both behind you all the time. So remember this, we are behind you all the time. And uh, good luck and God bless you. Because everything you do, you do with love. And every day you make me feel inspired to ignite. You are loved, you are loved. And nothing's gonna change that. I will love you till we're old and gray. And I'll love you when we're young. Don't be scared, it's alright God has given us this love And He will never let it fall apart He will never leave our side In a falling more in love with you I'm falling more in love with you I'm falling more in love with you every time Dearest Mark and Rachel, congratulations, Habaibi. Mark, I love you so much. Thank you for being such a wonderful son. I'm so blessed to be your mother. I could not have asked for you to be any better than you are. I'm sure I'm not alone when I say that Mark is a person who is kind, generous, and has a heart of gold. Marriage is about two people supporting and loving each other. I know that it's Mark and Rachel kind and caring heart that will serve their marriage from this day forward. As a mother, all I have ever wanted for my son Mark is for him to be happy. Seeing how happy Rachel you have made Mark is the greatest gift a mother could ask for her son. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Merva. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you for being one family now. When I first met Rachel, she came to our home, and I felt I know her already for the longest time. Over the time, I have witnessed Rachel remember the little things that are important to the people she loves, like my son Mark, his dad, his brother, and his grandpa, and myself. And she acts on these gestures with pure love. When I think about this, it warms my heart to know that my family will be surrounded by this kind of love as Rachel joins our family today. Welcome, Rachel, to our family. Welcome, my dearest Rachel. I love you so much. Mabruk, my Rachel, and Mabruk Mark. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Mervat, uh, her mother. <laughs> <laughs> I love you and um, congratulations and actually Rachel is you are an amazing girl amazing daughter uh, I learned from you a lot <laughs> especially if I talk about someone she said mommy stop gossiping <laughs> you're so cute <laughs> And she's very kind, uh, and uh, when I have any problem, I ask her, she prays for me and for the problem. You're so good. And uh, Mark, you have a very beautiful gift today. God bless you both. Um, and welcome uh, you in our family. I think no more Armanius. <laughs> it's good.
is going to be Mrs. Adley. <laughs> we are going to miss your kiss every night. Even if we are sleeping, you wake me up. You wake him up to kiss us. <laughs> okay, and we love you. We love, we love you. you. Oh. We love you. Mwah. We all know that the youngest sibling gets spoiled, and our mom and dad love to spoil Rachel. But our parents also taught us to love and protect one another. And we thank you for that, Mama and Baba. Uh, this protective instinct sometimes kicked in a little too much. So growing up, Rachel would always ask us for permission to do things. So it went a little something like this. Can I go to the candy store? Nope, you can't. Can I go out with my friends? Nope, you can't. Can I go for a bike ride? Where's your helmet? It's right here. Nope, still you can't go. We asked a million and one questions, and Rachel likes to answer, well, um, none of them. We conditioned her to ask us everything until now when she's at a restaurant she'll call us in a panic and ask us what she should order she'll send us a screenshot of the menu now that she has two lovely brothers Ray and Bashoy you can imagine the kind of approval she has to go through for all her decisions well, the fact that we're all here today on, uh, at Rachel and Mark's wed wedding means that, well, Mark, you passed the approval of Rayad Bashoy, Monica, and Miriam. Uh, so congratulations. <laughs> you know, our first impression of you was, who is this Asian soccer player that comes to Tuesday Bible studies? It was like, he keeps wearing Adidas shirts and Adidas pants to church. I thought you were, uh, I actually didn't think you were Egyptian, to tell you the truth. And uh, after Mark asked my parents to marry Rachel, he came to talk to us and he basically went through an interview process. And until now, he keeps talking about how nervous Bishoy made him. I don't think Ray made him as nervous. But we love you and you're a wonderful person with a kind heart from a loving family. So thank you, Tant Manel and Uncle Maggot. And we know that you're gonna take care of our Ray Chipu or else. We love you, Rachie Poo. You're going to be a great mom. You've had lots of experience with our kids. You're going to be a great wife because you always want to make sure everyone's happy. And I know you'll you'll do the same for Mark. You're our baby sister. You're our best friend. You're our daughter. And despite you being younger than us, we actually look up to you, to your many beautiful qualities. So we actually pray that our children grow up to be like you. Um, I know we've been overcritical of you over the many years, and that's because we just want you to be perfect and I can truly say that you truly are perfect. You, you, look, uh, you look stunning today. You have a heart of gold uh, who loves and cares for everyone and now you're marrying an amazing man, Mark. And on behalf of uh, our parents and the rest of the family, Mark, welcome to the family. We couldn't have asked for a better brother and we love your parents uh, and David as well. Uh, you guys fit right in with the craziness and um, God bless you on your beautiful marriage journey and uh, always keep Christ first. And I'd say I do for the rest of my life with Honestly, really hard to come up with anything nice to say about Rachel that our family and friends haven't already said. She really is our family's favorite. Rachel and I actually got to share the last three years of high school together, which meant I had a front row seat to her far above average achievements. From excelling academically in literally every single subject, to socially as a member of student council, and literally every other club we had at school, 
to performing in every single talent show and as always pretty much killing it at every sport Rachel set the bar really high so thanks for that I'm sure every single person here can agree that Rachel is as close to perfection as a person can be although it's safe to say that most almost every time Rachel has been my guiding light Growing up with her was like having a little sister I absolutely needed to protect. Mark, you and I have been close for a couple of years, even before the two of you had met. And when Rachel asked me what I thought of some guy named Mark Hadley, I was pretty excited that not only would Rachel uh, start dating, that she would be dating my close friend. Mark, I know you know how much I love you. And as much as I feel like no one on this entire planet deserves Rachel, I can confidently say that there's no person better suited for her than you. You're charming, compassionate, selfless, and you encompass every Christ-like quality that I could have ever wished for Rachel. I love you guys. We choose you. getting married today, I couldn't be happier to know that I will be spending the rest of my life with you. No more goodbyes or goodnight texts by each other's side forever. Mark, you have been my rock, my buddy when I'm bored, my gym partner when I'm feeling lazy, my joker when I need a laugh, my supporter when I need encouragement, my best friend that's always there for me and my love who fills up my life with life. As we start this new journey, I can't help but to think about how lucky we are that God allowed us to meet each other. From playing volleyball together to our first date at Second Cup, when you told me I couldn't say no, from climbing fences like monkeys at softball, to our first dance to touching heaven in a parking lot, to the first time we said I love you on Valentine's Day, to the day you proposed, and to the day we get married, which is today. So, Mark, <laughs> you must be wondering why you're sitting on a chair in the middle of the dance floor. Um, I know that you've always wanted me to sing at our wedding and I always replied with I always replied with no I don't want to or it's too many people or you know I'm kind of I'm kind of scared to do it um, but the thing is I've uh, I've been wanting to sing at our wedding um, for as long as I knew I wanted to marry you and I didn't just I didn't want to sing just any song. I wanted to sing a song that was meaningful to us. So a couple of months, uh, I decided to write my own song about a relationship. It started off with a few words and a few chords, and then it turned into a song. And then my amazing friends, Miriam, arranged the piano, and Basim, who uh, arranged the violin, and that created the song that I'm gonna sing for you. Uh, so the song is, I'm Yours. Um, so from me to you, I love you, Mark. I hope you enjoy it. And th there's a bunch of pictures and lyrics <laughs> that I put together. <laughs> upon a time there lived this little girl who hoped to find the man the one God had planned patience is key 
key and trust in him words repeated in my head trust is what i did to you i was led standing up here right now seeing your face that smile happy to spend the rest of my life with you no words can express the way i've been feeling today lucky to say that i'm yours as our bond grew and grew i saw more of you your heart is so pure and kind love is so deep and wide i've learned so much from you you make me better that's true you show love that's christ-like caught my eye from that first bite standing up here right now seeing your face that smile happy to spend the rest of my life with you no words can express the way i've been feeling today lucky to say I'm the one who comes to the two of you guys for relationship advice. One thing I can offer, however, is a reminder of every single thing I've ever learned from you two and your love over the years. You showed me just how patient, kind love truly is, and that love truly is worth persevering for through all its challenges and through the multiple rejections that Rachel gave you at the beginning, Mark. The two of you honestly represent the very epitome of love. Only love would take me back again when I've been caught with blood on both my hands. There's no good reason that I could understand it. Must be love. God knows. God knows it must be love. Mark and Rachel. May you continue to love, grow, and laugh together from this day forward. May you always have plenty and never lack. May both of your heart and your home be warm. May peace and joy always be your norm. Always remember, do your best, God will do the rest. And family who pray together, stay together. Love you so much.
for gathering us today to celebrate my brother and sister's wedding, Rachel and Mark. Rachel and Mark have always been a strong example of our love and what it means to live in the image of Christ. And now that they are one body, we can't wait to see how they will serve you and grow your church. Like when the Power Rangers came. Thank you for this beautiful day and for everyone here joining us. To bless their marriage with so much love, joy, peace, and with your grace. but that's okay. <laughs> Rachel and I got really close in grade nine and every day I learn and grow so much from her and she honestly has been the greatest role model in my life. <laughs> Rachel and I were roommates for three, three years and we still managed to become best friends. What Gladys and I share the most in common is how much Rachel has touched our lives for the better. We could go on and on about how amazing Rachel is and how great of a guy Mark is. But firstly, we honestly think you should know one thing. Being friends with Rachel is like being in a musical. No matter where she is or who she's with, she randomly breaks out into song. We never thought the single life she'd leave She'd run and hide from all the males But my friend like can't fuck your sleep You got a brand new weapon that will fail You got some Rachel in your corner now All your troubles will be at ease Or increase, she got the heart and the smart She still looks so loud But all I gotta do is buy her cheese and Mark, I don't feel so good, no cheese Let's do sushi She'll chew her through and open her mouth You ain't never seen a wife like her so honestly, it's really hard for me to think of childhood memories of me and Mark that didn't involve me getting beat up. Now, now I know what you're all thinking, but it's okay. You know, I always remember him telling me that it was really for my own good and that one day I would thank him for it. Well, Mark, here we are at your wedding day. Uh, still waiting for that day to come. But what I'm just wondering is where was that tough guy when they stole your car? <laughs> Mark, honestly, I'm... I am extremely honored to be the best man um, because you aren't really just my brother but someone I really, really I do look up to in life just as like a guide. I know that we don't really share our feelings all that much but um, most of the things that I accomplished in life um, are because of you and um, like I really just can't thank you enough for that. I'm just hoping that when Mark asked me to be the best man it, it wasn't just for tonight but for all the days really to come sort of as like a promise of all the things that we're destined to share in the future. Um, I still remember that the first day I met Rachel, Mark was sitting there trying to pretend like we were just going to go to the gym, play a little bit of soccer, but I knew, <laughs> I knew that today was the day he wanted me to meet the girl of his dreams. And I knew that Rachel must have been someone extremely special because for the last few months I had just never seen him so happy and I don't think this is an emotion anyone thought Mark had um, until he met Rachel. On the drive over, I remember thinking so hard, you know, what I was gonna say when I first met Rachel. Maybe I was gonna be the intimidating younger brother, maybe I was gonna be the cool accepting brother. Um, but I just remember when I first saw her, I just thought, wow, um, they look like they can easily be brother and sister. <laughs> you know, people always talk about what it means to love, but I honestly, I get to see that every single day. I've honestly just never met two people so perfect uh, for each other.
Okay, guys, for the last time today, please, everyone, raise your glasses. Everyone, please, everyone, raise the glasses. Yes. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Guys, to being madly in love. 